What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. So just one day after Apple released iOS 17.2 for the public, they are back with the very first beta of iOS 17.3. And obviously since it is a new dot release, there should be some new features, some tweaks in here somewhere in addition to the typical bug fixes that come along with it. So we're gonna do our typical process, jump through it, see what we can find on this video. If we miss anything significant, we'll make a follow-up video for that, but there are definitely new features that we're seeing in this already. So as you can see, just finished installing, back to the regular hello welcome screen. Let's go ahead and do a quick dive in. Okay, so as you can see here, we have our welcome screen from the update and jumping into it, I can tell you, we were pretty lucky this time and we didn't see a feel, or I should say feel, a huge spike in temperature jumps. Um, there was an initial feeling that it might get warm. However, as you can see here, we are hovering right around 90 and that is much improved over the prior updates. So let me go ahead and get in here. And you can see software update has completed with the splash screen here. The update was about six and a half gigabytes. Unsurprisingly, obviously it is a complete new install of the OS, so nothing surprising there. And right when you finish, you are greeted with the first new splash screen, with the first new feature in beta for iOS 17.3, and that is stolen device protection. This is actually meant to be an extra layer of security for your device if somebody happens to be watching you and seeing when you enter your password and they steal your device to get in, this will actually still hinder them from being able to access all of your data. So as you can see here, it says this is testing and it is now available for stolen device protection. This new feature adds an additional layer of security in the unlikely case that someone has stolen your iPhone and also obtained your passcode. It says accessing your saved passwords require face ID to be sure it's you. Charging or excuse me, changing sensitive settings like your Apple ID password is protected by security delay. I believe that delay is about an hour and there is no delay that's required when your iPhone is at a familiar location such as home or work and you can turn it on or not. If you click turn on, you will see it's as simple as that. And where this is at, if you decide not to do it initially, is also going to be in settings. Let me go ahead and block this really quick so we don't get bombarded with notifications. So settings, and then if you go into Apple ID, or excuse me, security, we'll go ahead and get in here. If you look right down here, you can see stolen device protection is now on. And it reads here, this adds another layer of security when iPhone is away from familiar locations such as home and work, face ID is required to access certain data, and a delay prevents quick changes to security settings. You can obviously click and learn more about it. That'll take you to Apple support document when it is live. Aside from that, going into our traditional song and dance, under general, about an iOS version, you can see the first full Beta build carries a versioning number of 21D5026F. iOS beta gives you an early preview of upcoming features, yada, yada, yada. Nothing has changed here. Let's take a look in the feedback app and see if anything has been updated here for beta 17.3. Looks like it's still showing the release notes. No big surprise there. One other change is with Apple Music. And we are actually back to having Apple Collab playlists as an option. That was removed at the very end of beta or 17.2 beta 4 and the RC. So what that is, is if you actually jump into a playlist you have, let's just go into December. You can actually click on the three dots or go look right here and you can see the collab option is now back. You can invite friends to join. You can turn on a toggle to approve uh, collaborators if you so choose, or just start a collaboration. So currently, that is all we've noticed in the new beta. I can tell you so far, everything has been pretty smooth. It's flowing okay, as you would anticipate. The big 
test. And obviously I know what a lot of people want to know is about battery life. It's been too soon to be able to tell how that's going to hold up. So it will be interesting in the coming days to see how that plays out. Don't worry, we will do a whole follow-up video if we find it being an issue. But for now, that's it, guys. Go download it. It's an OTA update. If you are in the beta program, let us know what you think. Let us know if you find any new features. And until then, we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.